Tommy's in Cincinnati. Hey, Tommy, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, thank you guys for having me, gentlemen. How are you doing today? Better than we deserve, sir. How can we help? Sir, so I, I'm just kind of first and foremost, uh, I'm grateful to be on the call. My wife and I, uh, newly debt-free, uh, thank you guys for your leadership there um, and your guidance. Um, I make, or Between the two of us, we make um, roughly $138,000 per year. Um, I have been in a job, I'm 35 years old, for about 15 years with the federal government, um, working for a government agency. Um, and at 30 years, um, so at the time I'm 50, I'll be eligible for a monthly annuity or pension. Um, kind of growing up, I've heard of my grandparents having pensions, so on and so forth. Uh, they obviously uh, are, are doing well, but aside from them, I haven't really encountered anyone with a pension. Um, so I have this kind of perfect ideal picture of what it's like to have a pension, um, and especially at the age of 50, you know, just kind of enticing. Well, as of you're a not you're how old ago, now again? I'm 35 years old. So. Okay, so 15 more years. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, well, today I was just offered uh, another job uh, working in the private sector, uh, making about forty to fifty thousand dollars more, uh, depending on the bonus. But uh, an annual, bo- or excuse me, an annual base salary of about forty thousand dollars more per year. Um, and uh, just kind of curious, you know, which way would you lean on on going um, that would bring our household income to roughly eighty thousand dollars per year? I thought you were getting a potential raise. He did fifty thousand. Okay, so that from last one thirty to one hundred and eighty, right? Oh, Correct. you said yep. eighty. Oh, okay. I thought you said eighty for a second. Well, so let's move the let's remove the money from the conversation. When okay. you heard about this job opportunity, okay, I understand the bump, uh, and it's in the private sector. But do you get excited about the actual work itself, and then where it might lead? Yes, I guess. Yes and no. Um, yes, and just in terms of doing something different, right? I've been yeah. doing uh, my current job for 15 years um, on the younger side of things, sure. um, but really don't know a whole lot else. All right, let me ask um, you this. Just, Do you? What's mm-hmm. your enjoyment level of your government job right now on a scale of 1 to 10, um, 1 being suck and 10 being you love it? I would say 8. I, I, I okay. like it pretty well. So here's the deal. Number one, I wouldn't stay in any job for any pension, just for the pension. The pension, to me, would never be the reason I would stay. All right, and the good news okay. is is you, you got an eight. Uh, that's a pretty high level of enjoyment. Most Americans aren't experiencing an eight in their work, so that's good. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, going to the private sector with an opportunity to move up the ladder and make more money, uh, th- I would do that. Uh, in regards to just staying for a pension. So you're kind of in this uh, middle area for me. There's not a clear winner uh, because you could take this job, the private sector job, make more money, uh, even have an opportunity for advancement. But if you don't enjoy the work and it's just, oh, I'm doing it because it's something different, let me tell you something. You got about 40% of people who change jobs in the last two years regret changing their jobs because the paycheck wore off, the promotion wore off, and they realized yeah. they were better off where they were. And that concerns me. Your answer of, eh, it's just something different. Well, once the different way wears off, now you could be stuck. So, What do you do now? Um, like what, agency? No, I mean, what, what's your day I, I work... job? What's, the, what's your title? What do you do? Yeah, so I am like a, a customer service person. Uh, working for uh, a, a state agency, or excuse me, a federal agency that helps with grants. So okay. you're in customer service. Okay, and so you would be doing what at the new place? Um, I would be working for a telecommunications company, working with local municipalities and managing their contracts. So kind of in the same field. Correct. Yep. Absolutely. So theoretically, you could get a you could have an eight in, on the enjoyment meter at this at this new job as well, correct? Mm, yeah, yeah. For I, think sure. you, I think you need to dig in a little bit more, you know, because because it's a no brainer for me. If you were to tell me that you could enjoy the private sector job and it provides you a ladder for financial and professional growth, then it's a no brainer to me to take the private yeah, sector if, job. If you've got if you've got as good an environment or better, you've got as good Prog- uh, chance of progressing or better and your level of enjoyment is as good or better 100 percent take the new job yeah okay because the pension versus 50 grand is an easy decision yes uh, you know 
let's just say 15 years you're talking about sitting there waiting on this pension 15 years of 50 grand is called 750 grand that'll build you a pension my man for sure for sure self-induced self-owned self-run self-everything and you'll you know so the you're gonna make a lot more money in the private sector than your pension would ever even come close to um and uh, the, the, you know, well, it's secure. Now, listen, there's nothing is, there's nothing secure though. Your position is only as secure as you are. Your ability to go get something is your security. And so, and you've already proven that. So yeah, I, as long as the company is solid, the, there's not a bunch of toxic environment and you're not just going just for the money. The people that have had the regret went just for the money and they ignored the other variables and they stepped in it. Yep. That's exactly right. So they get there and they realize, wait a second, uh, I was really excited about the paycheck bump and maybe a nice new title, but uh, I don't enjoy coming into work. Yeah, these people, their their values are screwed up. Yeah, they may treat you like you're just a, a commodity instead of a human being. Because you a acted lot of like one. Hello. Ooh. You were able to be purchased. Uh, that's a very good point. That's yeah. a very good point. You, you they, they dangled the carrot and you went after if you, it. If you act like a commodity, then guess what? They might treat you like a commodity yeah. and you might sign up for being a commodity. Yep. And then you get dumped on the street the first time they decide they're going to raise profits by decreasing payroll. That's called layoffs in corporate mm-hmm. America for no reason other than increasing profits. And they do it every day. I've been announcing them left and right like crazy. So that's the thing you don't want to get into. If you've got, but if you've got a solid company, they're going to treat you well. You feel like your enjoyment is there. Your mm-hmm. your chances of progressing in the field are just as good or better. Um, you know, you're never trade a pension or benefits for that. That's Always right. take the upside. Always. Yeah, the pur- the uh, purported. Uh, security will always let you down. Well, I mean, we have an investment strategy that you've been teaching for decades, and it works. And that's what we're talking about here. The pay raise plus you using that strategy, you're going to get further, faster than the pension ever would get you. Yeah, I mean, 50 grand, 750 in 15 years. That will that adds up. Before, you, before yeah. you're eligible for the pension, you made an mm-hmm. extra three-quarters of a million dollars. Yeah. That, and that's not counting any raises you would have gotten over and beyond what the federal government is going to give you. So. Take the job if all things are equal. That's the answer to the equation. Yeah. So many but people don't take the job work. without making sure all things are equal. That's the issue. Like, you got to dig. And it's as simple as like talking to people who work there or talking to somebody who knows somebody that works over there. Now, again, you don't take one squeaky wheel and say, oh, well, this is a horrible company. You got to get real feedback, get real mature people who are going to tell you what it's like there. And that is not hard to find out. But you got to be intentional. Yeah, I mean, you can find people that don't like anything. Uh, that's right. I'll is, guarantee you. I mean, we, right. we have an incredible culture. In yeah. Ramsey, Ramsey Solutions is a world-class p- place to work. But you can find people that are pissed off that you to I've work here. read nonsensical, straight-up lies about our organization as if I wasn't in the building. I've read this crap on social media and all that. People do this. People, squeaky wheels, will do that in any company, not just Ramsey, any company. And it's like, you got to talk to enough people to know whether or not we got somebody who's angry or somebody who's hurt or straight up crazy. So, because I've seen it all. Yeah. And you can find somebody displeased with anything. anything. And some of them have an agenda, X grind. So, that's right. anyway, the uh, it, us included. That's right. And in it, that place. So don't just take one. That's right. Do your homework. Make sure you're. Uh, That you're not just trading your soul for money. That's what you don't want to do. But if you can uh, keep your soul and have a great work environment and make more money, yes, trade 50 grand for a pension in about a nanosecond. (laughs) 